So for this project, I'm going to be using these lids from cans. I just cut them off with one of those can openers that leaves a soft edge. And then I have the pinata alcohol inks. So I had to sand off the numbers, but it worked quite well. Just get a bit of sandpaper and just get the numbers off there. And what I'm going to do is you need to paint both sides, but paint one, let it dry, and then flip it and paint the other side. But I'll show you uh, doing both sides at once just to compare them. So we'll just take our inks. I'm not going to use a brush or anything, and I'm just going to drop the inks on the metal, and we're going to see what happens. So. We just want to do a little bit of each color. I'll start with that dark color. I probably should have started with a lighter one. You really don't need a lot because it um, spreads quite quickly. So we'll just put a few on there. Actually, we could do these colors at the same time. And we'll put a little bit of pink on there. And it'll take a little while to dry, but you just want to get the colors on and see what happens. And we just want it to be really abstract, so don't worry too much about perfection. Get that one, and then we'll get a little bit of the dark color. And you see how when they overlap, they create different colors as well. So this one's quite a dark purple. It's very different painting on paper, on glass, on metal. You can see my other tutorials to show how it looks on the Yupo paper and how it looks on glass. You'll see there's quite a bit of difference. So now I'm going to use some metallics. Sometimes they get a little plugged up, so just wipe the end if it gets, if the hole gets plugged. And we're just going to do like little bits of the metallic on there too. And I wouldn't worry too much about how this looks. It's really, um, once it's all together, once your piece is all together, it's going to look really funky. So this is really neat. You can almost wear this as a pendant. So we've got that. And then let's try the more like a copper color. Wipe off the end. And we're going to get some of that one out there. So yeah, the metallics are gorgeous. They're so interesting. If you have a little bit of the metal showing, this is a good opportunity to use a bit of the metallic here. Put it on. So now we're going to do three more. And you can just really work quickly with it. You know, just go ahead, work on a few at once. And don't overthink it. Just have fun with it. Play around. Just try to make sure you fill up as much of the metal as you can. It's just nice to get it all filled in. We're just going to go like that. And then you have some darker colors too. This is the teal. Teal's a really nice color. There we go. And they don't all have to have the same amount of the same colors either. So you just really want to play around with them with nothing particular in mind. And then usually it ends up really beautiful. And if it doesn't, you can always like pull it back and try something else. So we're just going to get the colors down first. A little bit of red. It's a good thing we took the numbers off before we started because they might have shown through. So now we've got some of this copper one. We're just going to have to unplug the hole a little bit. There we go. Let's get some of the copper. The copper, the metallic is so beautiful. It just looks really, really pretty. And then some of the more gold color. Yeah, it's just like little explosions of color and texture, which is really cool. But just keep wiping the end of the metallic ones if if they're not, uh, if they're plugged, that just, that can happen sometime. I'm not sure why. I guess there's little granules in it, so it's getting plugged up a little bit. But, and you can even let it dry and then add more after if you want. But for now, I'll just leave it like that. So I just painted the other side of the lids. They have to dry now, but before I painted them, I actually poked a hole with this hole punch from Beducation. I had this in my metal stamping kit, but if you don't have a hole punch for metal, you can just poke a hole with a nail.